Weird car design has always been a keen interest of mine. Having come from the world of NHRA, a series where cars that look like this are the norm, you can see why. There's been some very weird cars across all forms of racing, but you can imagine my shock when scrolling through the internet and I come across this. This right here is a Jules 2 Proto 6x4, and it's a very weird car with a very weird background. To start this off, I want to discuss the man behind this car. This is Thierry de Montecor, a true mad scientist. In 1981, he tried to race a custom car at the Dakar Rally, named after a perfume line by Christian Dior. The Jules 1 was really a Frankenstein car that all stemmed on a bet. The car had a custom tube frame chassis, a replica Rolls-Royce Corniche body, a small black Block Chevy V8 and the four-wheel drive system from a Land Cruiser. Yeah, the idea for this car was certainly out there, but it didn't do too bad. Had they not been disqualified, the Jules 1 would have finished top 15 overall. This car alone is very interesting, but this wasn't even Thierry's craziest work. The Jules 2 Proto 6x4 looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. It looks like a mix of a Lancia Stratos and an El Camino, but unlike them, it was a six-wheeler. Six-wheeled cars are honestly fascinating to me because not only do they look cool as hell, the engineering behind it is just a marvel. I'd probably like them even more if I was just a bit more mechanically inclined and understood the fine intricacies of everything, kinda like how chefs like food more because I understand the work that went into it. Anyways, getting back on track, the parts for the Proto 6x4 were almost entirely designed for that car. It featured a custom body, a custom Kevlar tube frame chassis, a Porsche gearbox putting power to both the front and back, along with the same small block V8 from the Jules 1 Corniche. The car would race in the 1984 running of the Dakar Rally and caught the attention of many people. It had a promising start, but eventually the Kevlar chassis snapped, ending the car's run in the race, but not in the hearts and minds of the fans. Multiple blog posts from other race fans have been made, along with another video about this car from HSG Automotive. There's even been some die-cast versions of the car floating around out there that you can buy for yourselves. The car is really interesting, but it didn't really catch on. But regardless of the lack of success that the Jules 2 Proto found, it gained somewhat of a cult following on the internet, and I hope with me making this video, you'll grow a nice appreciation for this absolutely crazy race car.